got Becca from Arts Council. Some of you that might know who the Arts Council are. So I'm going to pass over the mic, okay? Hello. Um, right, first question. Who's heard of the Arts Council? A couple. This is, this is standard. We get this a lot. Not a lot of people know who we are. Um, so to give you a bit of a background of who we are, we're, we're basically a, a national organisation that funds artists. That's the long and short of it. Um, we take, well we take, we use the money from the central government that they use to fund arts in the country and we kind of divvy that out to big organisations but also for, for individual artists and small organisations. We also utilise money from the National Lottery, so if you play the lotto, um, the money that's given to the arts from the National Lottery comes through us and we again divvy it out to people. Now, the money that is given out, you have to apply for the funding, so there's an application process, which is sometimes pretty scary. Um, we've got a system online which sometimes people struggle with, but um, I'm a relationship manager for the Arts Council in the Midlands for music. So we have, because we fund all arts, we fund visual arts, dance, literature, everything basically. Um, in each area, we have individual people who look after different art forms. So I'm based here in the Midlands as a music relationship manager, and Salah, my colleague, is at the back of the room. She's also a music relationship manager. So there's a few of us. So when it comes to actually applying, um, if you've got a project in mind, we're the people that you might come and ask questions to before you put the application in. So, to give you a bit of a, a background of the types of things you can apply for, we've got two main funding streams for guys like you, I suppose, because some of them are from huge organisations. But we've, we've got two main ones, and the first is called Developing Your Creative Practice. Now, it's a lengthy name for basically giving you an opportunity to ask for funds to develop your work. Um, this is quite a, a small fund in that you can apply for between two to ten thousand pounds to um, put a project. It's not really a project. A lot of what we do is project based. What develop you create the practices is focused on the individual person. So we put this together to kind of give people an opportunity to have the money where they can develop. So that could be, for example, if you get an opportunity to go overseas and to be a part of something, part of a project, work with a mentorship, etc. and you need the money to get there, to go and do it, you can apply for that. But it can also give you an opportunity to have time to write, and that's pretty important. Um, one example, we've had a poet actually from, from Wolverhampton recently got developed in creative practice. And uh, she utilised the money to spend two days a week for nine months to write. So she got funding to cover what she would earn if she was at work for two days a week to sit and write work. Um, but on top of that, she also got money to, she's, um, she's from the Philippines originally. She wanted to go back to the Philippines to, to discover a little bit more about the language. So, as part of that money, she also utilised it to go over to the Philippines to work with a mentor, an award-winning poet, um, to, to kind of learn a bit more about her craft, and also learn a bit more about the music. And the music, sorry, about, about the poetry. So, she utilised that whole kind of project over about a year, and what's come out of that is, she's now created her first collection of poems that are going to be published next year. So that's the kind of idea of develop your creative practice. And then the second one, which is our most popular fund, is called Project Grants. Now this is what most people who are coming through Arts Council for Funding go through. And for this one you can apply for anything between uh, 1,000 to 100,000 pounds. And this is available for organisations as well, so you'll have some Huge organisations will come through project grants, but you also have individual people or smaller organisations. This is, project grants is 
what it is, it's grant for a project. So unlike develop your creative practice, which is kind of about you as an individual and your practice and what you do, the project grants is for projects that you want to run. So it, it's got to have a beginning, a middle and an end. Um, it's over a time limited period, so it can be anything up to three years. And you'll be um, applying for money basically to put something on. Now, that project can be something like this. <laughs> um, for example, um, a money could be applied to put events on like this with, with communities or mates or whatever it is that you're doing. Um, to put advice sessions on, to run workshops. But it can also be for the work that you produce. So, um, I take it, have you heard of a, an artist called Kate Tempest? Yeah, she's kind of a, a spoken word artist and, and rapper. Now, she, she's come in for project grants funding for years. And she, one of the projects she came in for early on was she's a poet and a spoken word artist. So she was writing a lot of her own spoken word, spoken word work. But she was doing a lot of it through literature. So she was writing books and writing poetry collections, etc. And what she wanted to do is she wanted to expand that to involve some kind of music. So she got together with a group of musicians and producers. And she said, I want to just have some money to spend some time with these people and collaborate and create some new interesting work. And then I want to take it on tour. And she took it on tour. She went to about 10 to 12 different venues across the UK and put this show on. And that was funded through Project Grants. So it's, it, we call Project Grants the have a go fund really, because it's kind of whatever you've got as a project, chances are you'll be able to get funded through Project Grants. So they're the two kind of main avenues of funding through the Arts Council. There's a few things that you have to do, the application process obviously is kind of, can sometimes be a bit of a mission, but that's what we're here for. And if you've got an idea for a project, you can contact us either through the website or get our details today and give us a bell. Uh, we can arrange to have a bit of a meeting to talk through your projects and see how it looks. Um, so yeah, that's kind of who we are. Just to point out what we have um, recently in the Midlands, we, we've put a bit of a research project together um, to learn about the Midlands music kind of landscape really, what's going on, where, where are things not happening, what do we need to do to improve them. And as a part of that, we put together a directory, and this directory had, do you know how many entries we've had? About 100 people have put their details together for this directory. So you've got things like record labels, you've got venues, you've got individual musicians, um, you've got funding bodies, etc. All of that detail we've now, we'll, we're currently going through it. We're putting a directory together that's going to be available on our website. So there's a lot of people specific to the Midlands that are involved in that. So if you're looking for expertise in a certain area or other artists or venues that you can go and play at or promoters that you can work with, that's going to be available on our website soon. It's not there yet, but it's due to be on in the next month or so. So have a look at that. I think that's it from, from me. Thank you very much. Arts Council, hope that was some more valid information for you. How are you like, feeling about that one? Yeah, get some valid information. Okay, my question is that I normally get from artists is basically, do you have to be well known to apply for this one? No, is the answer. Um, if you're with the develop your creative practice, which is the kind of smaller money, that is mainly for people who, it, it's quite a specific fund that's for people who are at a certain point in their career. Usually we say you've got to have three years of operating, doing what you do already, outside of education. So if you've been doing it for three years, then you know it's the kind of thing that's open to you. Um, but it doesn't mean that you need to be well known, because it can also be an example, another example is uh, a musician who, who have been doing gigs 
I've been a practicing musician for 20 years and what she's done to supplement her income is do a lot of workshops, do a lot of songwriting workshops, work in schools, etc, etc. She went, do you know what, I, I'm not doing any of my music anymore and I haven't got time to do it because I need to earn money. So she came to develop your creative practice, uh, not very well known, but she did it to build her brand. So she created, she set up vlogs, she set up videos, she set up YouTube channels, she set up all the branding. Um, as part of that, and gave herself time to sit in a studio and write and record and work with producers and collaborate. So she wasn't well known, <laughs> but um, now she's created an album off the back of that and she's doing better. So you don't need to be well known to get the money at all, um, but hopefully use it to become well known, that makes sense. I hope that was very valuable information that you like, just gave us from the Arts Council. So like you said, you don't have to be well known. It's just more time just planning. Taking your time and planning is possible. Nothing's not possible. So I hope that was more information valuable. Like I said, at the end of it, you can just get a quick chat with her when you're ready. Now,